Okay, I'm going to breeze right through this. We're going to set up this final little uh, section of our network. So I'm going to have to both set up my router and my PC. So I'm going to go ahead and go to config t int fa0 slash 0 IP address 192.168.1.33 and then 255.255.255.224 and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a no shut alright that's up and running I'm gonna go to my PC go to my desktop go to the IP addresses this one will be the next one so 192.168.1 and we could actually do any of these so let's do 60 Subnet mask 224. Default gateway is our router, so that is specific 192.168.1.33. And that doesn't matter. I'm going to go to my command prompt. I'm going to go do an IP config. Everything set up. Ping. 192.168.1.33. So pinging my router is going to see is the problem in our network or beyond our network. We got replies. So if we have any problems, it's beyond our network. So we get to call the phone company or you guys. So let's look at this in the router's point of view. So I got the, on this router, you see the last time I did a show IP route, it had two networks. So we had this network right here and this network right here. Do you think we'll see this network? Let's see. Show IP route. Eh, bummer. <laughs> this is what this whole book is about. Getting this route over here to show up. Uh, you can use static routes, which is where we tell it about it. Or you can use dynamic routes, which are RIP, OSPF, EIGRP, and there's a couple others too. So, for this lab, you only have to worry about setting it up this far. But as we move on, we're going to have you start setting up uh, static routes, RIP version 1 and 2, OSPF, and EIGRP throughout the course. Alright, thank you for watching and good luck.